Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the other two linemen that have been hotly contested in fall camp. We're going to look, take a look at John Simpson and Salah. Again, I can't pronounce his whole name, so we're just going to call him Salah. Don't want to disrespect him by trying to pronounce it, but let's get into it. We watched Ben Cleveland's whole game yesterday. We're not going to watch Salah and Simpson's whole game. We picked out a couple of plays, and at the end of this video, I'll give you the grades for both of them. But let's get into John Simpson and Salah's performance versus the Redskins, sorry, the Commanders, Monday night. Roll the intro. <laughs> All right, let's get into this film. So um, I'll highlight each player before we, you know, talk about which one we're going to talk about on that play. And we'll kind of get into the plays. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's eight plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine plays. Nine plays. Let's get into it. So we got John Simpson we're going to start off with. Got some good plays, got some bad plays for both of them. I think we got a good play right here. And him picking up the stunt right here, this is, you know, a good thing. Even though he's working with 91, 97 is going to loop behind it and just watch his head, you know, see it happening and pass 91 off. Going to pass 91 off to the center, Mustafa, and then he just takes it over. It's a great job. But not just marrying himself to 91, realizing what's going on, and Mustafa realizing it too. 97 goes away. He just takes it over. So it's just a great job of communicating by, by Simpson. This is, you know, one of one of many good plays for him, you know, going forward. Let's move on to the second play. Still that left guard. It's a good job on this outside zone. Now watch his feet from this point going forward. They never cross over. Watch the shuffle and watch him get his hips. Watch him get his hips on this side of the defender. That's going to be the key. He got his hips on this side of the defender and allowed Justice Hill to get outside of him. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, and turn them hips. There we go, right there. That's what allowed Justice Hill to get outside. That was the key block in springing that outside zone. It's a good job in not crossing over, shuffling your feet, getting your hips turned, and understanding where the ball needs to go. Shuffle, shuffle, hips pass. It's a great job. Great job by Simpson on that, that outside zone. Let's take this third play. Got a knockdown, and this is a Zay Flowers touchdown. Just got a straight knockdown right here. Bam! The defender was a little bit, was a little bit, you know, off of um off balance because he tried to shoot the gap. Simpson got great leverage on him right there. That's great positioning. Look at the positioning. Great positioning, great balance. Drilled him. And even though 74, which I think is sharp, landed on him, that's a knockdown for um for Simpson. And then Zay over there doing his thing. Zay doing his thing. I think we got a player in, the, in old Zay Flowers. I think we got us one, people. I think we got us one. Let's go to this next play. All right, now we're going to look at some from Salah. And, you know, these first couple plays, they're they not very good. This is his very first play in the game. The very, fir very first play. He's good right there. Good with the double team with um, Falele. That's good. But if you see this, this this linebacker about to shoot this gap, that's his responsibility. He got to cut him off. So he can't he can't just go so hard on this double team that he can't get that block. And look at his shoulders. His shoulders are not square. All he needed was one shoulder on that double team so he can square his shoulders up to take to get that linebacker. He's just not gonna be able to get there. 
See there? So he basically is tackling the linebacker and still can't stop him because he went so hard on that double team. And that guy basically made the play. He basically made the play. So his shoulders can't be his shoulders can't be turned like that. See see how the shoulders of 77 is? His shoulders need to be just like that so he can see when this linebacker triggers. And when this linebacker trigger, he come off and, and block it. His shoulders can't be turned like that. They just can't. That's bad technique. And even though Melvin Gordon gets five yards, that's because of the hole that they opened on the right side. Now, this, is, this is second play. This is Salah's second play in the game. Straight whiff. It's a straight whiff. Look at him on the ground. It's a straight whiff. Basic arm over move. Bam. Eating grass. Eating grass. Now, I'm going to make this statement to you publicly. I made this statement to a group of guys I'm in a group chat with. So, I don't know who, I don't know who, who what number this is. I don't know who 79 is for, for Washington. I don't know who the 79 is for Washington. But, they gave Salah two weeks to run with the first team in Baltimore. Imagine what Michael Pierce, Roderick Washington, Justin Matabike, and Travis Jones was doing to Salah in practice. Just imagine. This is the second week of film we've watched, you know, in games of Salah. Imagine to what our good D-lineman was doing to this young fella in practice. Just imagine. But let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. We ain't going to harp on it too long. Just keep rolling. Now, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't all bad. It wasn't all bad. It wasn't all bad. He had some good reps, too. He had some good reps, too. Like, this is a good rep. Good job of the double team of Mustafa. Good job of driving your feet. Had in the right place. It's a good job of finishing your block. It's a good job of finishing your food right there, uh, Sala. Like I said, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't all bad. That's a good job. Good drive. Good job of being nasty with it. I would have loved to see at one some point one of these two guys, at least one of them, either come off there or come off here. At one of them, at some point, it depends on which way the linebacker go. If the linebacker tried to come under, should have been Mustafa. Linebacker come over the top, should have been Salah. But one of them got to come off. But nevertheless, a good job on that double team and getting that that interior defense lining up out of there. So with him coming over the top, it probably should have been. Um, Salah. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt on that one. But it probably should have been Salah to come off that double team and go get that linebacker. But I gave him a good play on that one for the initial movement on that, that guy. So back to Simpson. And this is one of Simpson's bad plays. Look, he's off balance, and he really don't even see the stunt coming. He kind of get caught up. He gets off balance, don't even see the stunt coming, and just, just holds. Now it didn't it didn't get called. This is a good catch by um who's that Kolar. But this is one of the few bad plays from 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 um Simpson. And he's at right tackle. I mean right guard on this one. He's not at left guard. He's at right guard on this one. This is one of the few bad plays. Like he he's battling with the is that the the one tech. He battling with the one tech. Battling with him, and he's locked in. He doesn't even see the stunt coming. He just, for some kind of way, he gets his head down. Watch his head drop down right there. And he doesn't even see the switch. And he feels it because he feels somebody just go across his head. And he just grabs. He just grabs to protect the quarterback. Now, luckily, they don't call holding. So we get away with one. But that's still one of the bad reps. Go to the next one. Got another bad rep for, for um, Salah. And again, initially, but just let it run. Let's watch this. Just the same move. The, the defense alignment does nothing crazy. So the quarterback can't even step into this throw. And y'all know y'all know this had to go on there. If you know me, you know this had to go on there. Quarterback can't step into this throw. 
Got a receiver wide open, but the, because the quarterback can't step into the throw, it's short. So I blame I blame the receiver. I, I blame the quarterback at first, but I take all that back. I'm blaming seven one because we all know what happened on this play. We all know what happened. If you didn't know, now you see what happened. But we're gonna end on a good note. We're gonna end on a good note for Salah. I found his best rep, and I'm gonna end. The, I'm gonna end this video on his best rep. It's near the goal line. There he is, right there. Good double team. Remember, early in there, he got too. He went too hard on double team and couldn't come back and get the guy he was supposed to trigger to. Well, on this one, he got better at it. Watch him double down on the one technique. He's gonna double down on the one. See that that's taken care of. Look at his shoulders are a lot different on this play. His shoulders are squarer. I probably just made that word up, but y'all know what I mean. His shoulders are squarer. And so when he realized that's taken care of, he can come on off 24, which he does. And now he takes care of 24. 24, I assume, some kind of safety personnel. I don't know if he's a linebacker or not, especially with the new rules and numbers. So I don't know if 24 is a linebacker or not. But he's just out there dogging him. And I, I put in my notes, these are his best reps. His best reps. All right, now to, to kind of summarize what I found out while watching tape on Simpson and Salah, we'll start with, with Simpson. So I got um, what I have. I have 32 plays. I have five plays that I didn't grade, so I have 27 graded plays. Out of the 27 graded plays, I have only three negative plays, only three. He played left guard, right guard, and left guard again um, throughout the, throughout the um, game. And I didn't count how many. I counted right now. Hold on. Left guard, he was there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen plays at left guard, which leaves him fifteen plays at right guard. But again, so twenty-seven graded plays, three negatives, that gave him a ninety percent. I got Simpson at ninety percent. So that's why I tweeted earlier, I think that solidifies him to be the starter at left goal. I got him at 90%. Let's go to the other side and talk about Salah. So for Salah, I have him 31 plays, two plays that I didn't grade. Um, one was the kneel down and the other was the Hail Mary when he didn't have anybody to block. So he had 29 graded plays and 12 negatives. Hit him at 59%, which is... Even if you're still in school, that's an F. But by O-line rules, that's an F, F, F. That's horrible. That's horrible. So imagine, like I said, imagine against, against, because every starter played for Washington except for their D-line. Like all their starters on every group played except for their D-line. So if, if they're doing that to him, imagine what Travis Jones and Matt BK and Pierce and Broderick Washington was doing to this young fella. How, again, how is, and this is no shade on John Simpson. This is no shade on John Simpson. But you basically handed this man a starting job. There was no way this was possible competition for John Simpson. No way. No way. Not possible. Seeing what we've seen in games, there is no freaking way that this was possible competition for John Simpson. Now, he handled his business. He definitely handled his business. I will say salute to you, John Simpson, for what I think for winning that job based off of the circumstances that was put out there. But there is no freaking way that this was possible competition because that's this was like this was like me versus Clay Thompson in a three-point shooting contest. That's what this was. That, that's what this was. So, but I'm, I'm going to get off this, this Ben Cleveland soapbox. It is what it is. I can't control it. I ain't, you know, I ain't going to get the more grades over it. It is what it is. You know, hopefully Ben makes it because I think he deserves to make it. If he get cut, <laughs> what? It is what it is. But, hey, man, if you like the video, let me see if this will work. Let me see if it will work while I'm talking. There you go. If you like the video, 
like the video. And if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button uh, and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. I appreciate everybody for coming through. And um, hey, I'll see y'all soon with some more content coming soon. Man, the season is about two weeks away. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see what we do coming up. Uh, this is Coach Evans out. See y'all soon. Peace.